Hello and welcome to the Soft Hummingbird Tutorials. This is a series of tutorials in which I show you step by step how to simulate a simple cantilever or a simple mechanical beam with the finite element software COMSOL. You can download this video and the COMSOL file with the other tutorials on my webpage softhummingbird.com. Okay, now we will export the data about the resonance frequency and compare it to calculated values in order to see if the simulations make sense or not. For that we right click on results and select 1D plot group. And here we select point graph. Here it would be wrong to select line graph. For some simulations however, line graph is the proper choice. So best you try one of those out and if the exporting does not work, try the other one. Ok, we select our solution and select parameter from list. With this we can exactly see which parameters we have and what will be exported. All of them are selected. For the eigenfrequency we also select all. Now for the selection we have to at least select one point. Right and then left click on any point. For the result this point does not matter at all, because we want to extract the parameter beam L, which is the beam length, and the eigenfrequencies, and nothing related to expressions such as displacement at a special point. And this is actually mandatory, you have to select at least one point in order to generate a graph. Ok, now we can select the y and the x axis of the graph. For y we take from the solver our eigenfrequencies. For x we also want to select an expression of our choice. And this is the beam L parameter, which is the beam length that we swept. Ok, now plotting we will obtain following graph. We disable the line connection and enable points as markers. We have six eigenfrequencies for each beam length. And this is actually everything we wanted. Now let's export these values and try to use them in Excel. For that we right click on our point graph and select export. Here we check whether or not it's the right dataset and it is the right one. Type in a file name and export. Ok, now you will see another very peculiar thing about COMSOL. I mean, surely there is another way of doing it, but I don't know how, so if you know, please post it. So the exported data format is everything else but useful, but I will show you a workaround. So as you can see here, we have our beam length and the frequencies are right, but the values are separated by a ton of spaces rather than by a single tab, which would make life much easier. Ok, for the analysis let's not export all of the eigenfrequencies, but rather the first one. So we go back to the point graph and select first from the eigenfrequency list. This is the first harmonic of a cantilever. We click on plot and nothing happens. So we have to make another small setting and this is the positioning. We have to select in data points and then it works. So plotted now is the first harmonic resonance frequency for all the different beam lengths that we simulated. The longer the beam is, the lower its resonant frequency. Ok, we go back on the export node and export the data again. And this is the exported text file with its spaces. You can use the program Ready Replace to make such files usable in no time. Here we'll show you just very briefly how it is done and if you are interested you can watch the tutorial on that. First you drag and drop one or more files in which you want to do the replacement. Then you define replacements such as spaces are replaced with tabs, two tabs are replaced by one tab, 
and the Unix line breaks are replaced with the Windows enters for example. Save the replacement task for next time and open the file. Now you can copy the data and paste it into Excel. Ok, these values over here are calculated values with the analytical equation that you can look up for a single clamped cantilever. As you can see, the resonance frequency F0 is dependent on the beam thickness T, the beam length L and the Young's modulus E and density rho of the beam material. And FYI, you can also download this Excel file on my webpage if you want. So, long story short, the simulated values of COMSOL are identical with the calculated values. That means the simulation makes sense and we can trust the results. Such comparisons with the theory give you more confidence that the other frequencies and resonances we obtained are also correct. Alright, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. And now I would be happy if you would visit my webpage to watch and download all of the COMSOL tutorials and play around with the COMSOL file yourself. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe and vote for this video. Thanks for watching.